Alrighty, this is gonna be for all my male viewers. Okay, um, I know sometimes it must feel like I'm talking to women more than you, but you can always place yourself within my reads as you know, just because the depiction on the card does not mean that that is not you in your situation because you were drawn to me for a reason. So I still feel like the male population on my channel is growing, okay, um, quickly. So I need you to kind of place yourself within my reads as I'm saying. So ladies, you know, but I mean, that could be your lady or vice versa. You know, we're always in between the yin and the yang. So I just want to briefly do a little something for you, okay? So we got patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. That's one of your lessons right now is being patient on yourself, being patient with the surrounding energies. However, this read's going to resonate with you, okay? I have a feeling it's going to be a lot like my other reads. I mean, but I could be wrong. Because now I'm, I'm literally pinpointing gender, you know? So let's get one more lesson. And surrender. So you're there's you're trying to control a situation. Okay, so you can continue trying to control a situation, or you can let the universe guide you through something. So it's almost like you're controlling an, a certain aspect in your life, but so so you're you're in touch with universal energy, right? It's just there's you're controlling or trying to control a situation and outcome something. You know, um, and you got worry at the bottom of the deck. I'm learning that worrying does not change the outcome. All right. So it's kind of saying time to get something done. All right. So <clears throat> let's see. I'll use this deck for my men. <clears throat> What's the deal? So stop trying to control a certain situation in your life and, you know, let something happen. There's definitely, you know, worry, patience. Is this right? Is it not? It's a lot of your gut, gut instincts are here too. That was quick. So you got the two of swords and the queen of wands. All right. So trying to decide what direction to go, you're definitely attracted to somebody. Um, you could be dealing with fire, but you can be dealing with any any zodiac, wall propensities, okay, depending on where the planets are placed. So it's trying to decide. The nice thing is, is the swords are down, so I don't know if you feel defeated. But this is a lot of attraction, so I don't know if you're trying to control an attraction situation. Extremely attractive. Um, but you're deciding whether or not to give something a shot or to end something or to proceed. You definitely want a truce. So it's nice energy. So some of you is stop trying to control a situation, right? And others, yeah, look at that. It came out reverse, but it also flipped. So I'm leaving it upright for right now. This is extreme attraction. There's definitely somebody inspires you to go in a new direction too. You're probably dealing with somebody who's extremely intuitive too. Not necessarily, but for some of you. Um, but you're trying to control this attraction, but there's something in the divine's mist. Okay. So to me, it's like you, you held up with something right this second, some type of hold up, but it's like, I sense some type of freedom with the, this combo. So you definitely got your mind on someone. Okay, Palace of Coin, I saw that earlier. Queen of Cups Reverse. You're definitely in an emotional situation with someone. Whether this is same sex or not, it, it's still that attraction. Do I go towards this? Do I not? It's with the Palace of Coin, it's, it's almost like the Four of Wands, right? Contentment, happiness, lots of nurturing within this household. A lot of good aspects about this person. So you're not necessarily having negative thoughts towards anyone right this second, which is good. This is kind of what you want, what you see, or this is what you're envisioning. 
it's because you're not making a choice is what's controlling it's what's controlling the worry the fear it's that type of energy we got going so try to ask you know ask the angels you know i give you permission to take away my worry i give you permission you know i'm putting this in your hands i feel like some of you might have done that but not not you didn't specify, like you really need to specify what you want help with, but prepare yourself for when you do that. You know what I mean? So right now, all this worry and all this change, you know, it's not, you're not, I'm surprised you don't have the freaking 10 of wands, right? There's a lot of pressure here, but as soon as you make a decision, you know, look at the beauty of an outcome. So, well, this is you. Do I do I leave a household because I got somebody else on my mind? This is just intense, very intense um, attraction too. So, you have the emperor and the hangman as well. So this is you know, the emperor can be very controlling sometimes. A need for a pers some type of. Um, to perceive something in a different way, perception, right? But, or perspective, however you want to look at it. But this is also sacrificing a situation to have a new situation for some of you. Tell me about the two of swords. So there's a need, some of you either need to sacrifice or there's a need to change your perspective, which... Which is exactly what I was just kind of saying with the Two of Swords anyway. As soon as you get that. To me, you already had mental clarity. But you're just, you're sitting on something. You know? So with the Two of Swords, you got the wheel. It looks like something can very well go in your direction. And you have um, the Six of Wands. It's a spiritual victory. Holy shit. There's something about to go in you guys' direction that you're going to be extremely pleased about. You could be dealing with somebody in the public eye. But... It's like, it's not TikTok, right? But the time is now. It's, the luck is on your side as of right now. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. You got the Queen of Coin. So again, there could be two women that you're trying to choose from or two men. However, it goes down for you in this situation, my little men, okay? Or big men. I don't want to demean you. <laughs> I just meant you. troops, okay? My troops. My fellas. So this could very well be the same woman who's extremely, extremely intuitive, sensual, there's just lustful, or there could be two different women or two different men. I believe this is the same exact person that you can have success with. And you could be dealing with somebody, an earth sign. It doesn't need to be, but this is somebody that can nurture. It's, it's kind of like... It's kind of like having empress-like energy. And we saw the queen of cups, right? So that's someone who loves. This is somebody who nurtures. This is somebody who has passion, very adventurous, spontaneous. So it, it's, there is some type of good connection you like, okay? Oh, damn. God damn. Okay. <laughs> queen of swords. She's, she's not the same woman. Hmm. She actually is, is what I'm hearing. You're dealing with somebody extremely intelligent, speaks her mind, doesn't deal with bullshit. Strong air, strong earth in her chart. Tell me about the Palace of Coin. This is long term. For sure, you know, um, someone that you relate with in, in an intellectual way. This is not a boring person by any means. If you're searching for compatibility wise, I mean, this one offers a whole lot, very um, well rounded energy. So it's just, it's, it's making a decision. Okay. And now you got the four of cups. So, I mean, the five of cups. So there's 
there's something from your past that you are still hanging on to, which is, which is within your household, there's something going on that you're still holding on to past pain, past grudge, past something that's preventing this. So something from the past needs to be released so you can have this because it is time. It is time to let go of the past. You know, it is time to speak the truth. You already have that type of clarity with the two here anyway, like I said. So it's like you, you kind of know what you want and what direction. But it's just like you need to take initiative to do it. But this definitely needs to be douched out. There's no question. Whatever this is, a person, a place, a thing, you're holding on to something from the past that is stopping your present moment. It could be the control. It could be the worry. It's just whatever this is. It needs to go. You need to, you know what I mean? Like positive thinking. Tell me about the um, hangman. You got the world. Yeah, see, it's, it needs, you're just sitting around in limbo. Some of you just chilling, fantasizing. But it's like, it's time to put the fantasy into reality. It, it's time to end this. It's a wrap. You're holding on to something that's dead. It's over. There's a cycle that's over. There's a new door that wants to open clear as day. And it's it's going kind of towards your destiny with the divine being here, right? Like, it's kind of saying this woman or gentleman, whoever it is for you guys, is, is a full package. But there's something that my, you guys coming in as emperors, that, that controlling, that controlling factor. I don't even see worry like that. So it might be borderline worry, but you got to let go of the past. There's something that you, it's a cycle that you're still in that needs to be wrapped up. This wheel cannot move in your direction until this is wrapped up. Because if you don't move with this wheel, then you stay in this situation for however long you stay. This reminds me of the read I did last night. Um, you have two choices, fulfillment or stay trapped, because this is what you're doing right here. Tell me about the five of cups. So this cycle needs to end, a new door needs to open, and the wheel is here to do that. You just got to listen to your gut, which I kind of have a feeling you're not you're not doing quite yet. So hopefully you will. Five of Cups. That's a whole lot of cards. Five of Cups, please. You might have lost something from the past. You might have lost this person. Now you're holding on to regret. Or sorrow or worry, what if I want it back? It, it could be this the sorrow could be due to that person not in your life, but that would only be because of you. You know, so I do feel like it's a family situation though. It's a ten, it's a wrap to an old family situation with the ten of cups coming out. You might have children with somebody, but it, it's an end. You're holding on to something that, that no longer is there and at the bottom of the deck, yeah, you got the towers as a lover. There's some type of situation here. So it's like this family dynamic that's nothing but the past that's holding you back. It's, you know what I mean? Like this this new start, maybe particular with this woman, can't start until this is done. But the tower is going to show its face soon if you don't take the initiative, okay? I, I don't... The Five of Swords was under there too, which again is, is bringing me back to you have two choices because eventually somebody does miss an opportunity. It's just the way it goes. And it's, it's, someone's going to miss that opportunity soon because the wheel is here. You know, like there's a cycle in your life that is completely dead and gone that you're still holding on to. And it's like you're just, whatever you're doing, going home, sitting on the couch, putting the news on, on your laptop, whatever. It's like you're trying everything in, in your power to not think about this, but this, this is not going away. It's whatever that is, too, is divine, right? So, or I'm telling you right now, if you haven't heard from this person in a long time and you still have hopes this person's coming in, you're worried X, Y, Z, all that, like, there's a brand new life for you. Let it go. Let go of your past. If you haven't talked to somebody in months and months and months and you're just hoping this person's going to come back, let them go. You don't even want this person to come back. Eventually, they will. They all do in due time. But right now, you want a brand new life? You want to stop getting out of this? Then you need to leave this so the wheel can go in your direction because the universe is trying to place you somewhere, okay? So I'm going to get you one of these cards. Okay, and you got belongings. 
can't remember what this one's about, but I will read it to you. Okay. Come to the house, come enter the house of the night where you chose this symbol. You have joined this community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared among the chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. The symbol also tells you that you're in the right place. Okay, you're about to go home. So it could be that home underneath there. It's like a brand new life. Be, be with yourself. Learn how to comfort in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, I next goddess, I have chosen you. So in in all retrospect, like I was saying earlier, hold on, I shut the door. Like I was saying earlier, you get a chance for a brand new, brand new home, brand new life, brand new situation. Lucy, come here. They're placing you. Lucy? Okay. So they're placing you somewhere where they want you, where what's what's best for you so like i said if you've been waiting on someone for months please stop let it go let the old go you got brand new here and, and it's trying to turn its wheel you know what i mean like let this go because you got you got a brand new brand new situation ship they both speak of homes a, a brand new place yeah see and then you got letting go so you need to let go of something to have this come into place. Letting go is at the bottom of the deck. If you don't love something like you should, set it free. Don't hold on too tight. The least you're chase away. You have freedom at this time to choose whatever it is you want. Let others do the same. You'll be happy you did. Miracles come when you let go and allow the magic to happen on its own accord. And it's like that's that's kind of what's going on. You're kind of holding, you're trying to control a situation. So this cycle right here needs to end so this can go into your favor. Okay, or you're gonna continuously stay in this cycle for a very long time. Okay, and I've been in, in those type of situations. I held on for two years too long before I before it was like ding dong. Okay, so there's an opportunity right here for a brand new life. You must let go of the household situation that your time is up you know what I mean they they want you here brand new brand new king of your throne that type of energy you're dealing with somebody who's very well-rounded okay and if you're completely single it's just you having to let go of someone that hasn't been around in a very long time it doesn't mean lose hope it, it just means it's not it's not for you right now they're gonna set you up in a different dynamic and the next person to come towards you has all of those qualities that you're looking for anyway. This is extremely spiritual too with the wheel, the six of wands, patience. Okay. So um, that song came to me. Step into the light. So enjoy new. It's on you. It might help if you go watch. You have two choices that I uploaded last night. All right. Bye, fellas.